welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with y'all all the books I plan on reading in the month of July. So if you saw my most recent video, which was a book haul, I will link it up above somewhere and down below. You would have saw that I mentioned that I'm becoming very much a mood reader and because of that I'm not sticking to my TBRs. So I thought maybe making TBR videos were kind of a waste of time. But then I decided that I would just make a very ambitious TBR with a bunch of books that obviously I'm not going to get to all of them but I would get to most and it's a bunch of different genres for whatever mood I'm in when the time comes so I thought we would do it that way. So my July TBR for 2022 has 16 books on it and I don't know if you guys saw my July 2021 reading wrap up. If I made a video I will link it but I can't remember if I did. I read 13 books. That's the most books I've ever read in one month and that's only three more than last year and one of the books I'm currently reading I'm not gonna finish it in June but I will in July so I mean we, we will see I'm not getting my hopes up that's for sure 16 books is a lot and my son's starting to act like he doesn't want to take a nap anymore and if that's the case then I will have gone from having two hours during the day of nap time to read to having none during the day to read and will only be able to read at night so we'll see what happens. Anyways, let's just get into the video. So the book that I'm currently reading that I will be going into July with is A Little Life. I'm reading this book very slowly. I started it literally, I want to say like June 5th or 6th and I'm still going into it. I'm on page 274. I'm not very far into it, but it's really good. So I definitely will be finishing this in July. The next book I plan on reading in the month of July is going to be my book of the month pick. It's not here yet obviously so I will insert a picture of it over here but it's called You're Invited by Amanda J. Atissa. I'm probably butchering that. I don't know what it's about but it sounds like The Guest List by Lucy Folly and I loved The Guest List so I'm excited for this one. The next book I plan on reading in July is A Man Called Uwe by Frederick Backman. I tried to get to this in June and I couldn't so it's going to be following me into July. Next is a book I don't own but it's Hidden Pictures by Jason Rekulak. I don't know how to pronounce that. I've heard amazing things about this book and I want the physical copy of the book because of the scary pictures in it and it's a horror book so I'm really excited for this one. The next one I also don't own is Something Wilder by Christina Lauren. I love Christina Lauren. This is her newest release. I just haven't gotten to it yet so hopefully I will be getting to it in July. Next is the Sweetest Remedy by Jane Agaro. I don't know much about this one. I do know that it's a romance and I really love Ties That Tether that I read earlier this year so I'm excited for this one. Next is going to be my add-on for book of the month but I don't have it yet which is The Maid by Nita Prose. I don't know too much about this one but have heard really amazing things so I'm excited for this one. Next is The Chestnut Man by Soren. I don't know how to pronounce his last name. I'm so sorry. I plan on reading this in June but I didn't get to it so it's following me into July. I'm really excited for it. I know that it's a horror novel so I can't wait to dive into this one. Next is 14 Ways to Die by Vincent Ralph. As mentioned in my haul I have heard amazing things about this and I'm really excited to give this one a go. I think this one is a thriller. It might be a horror but I think it's just thriller suspense novel but like I said can't wait to dive into it. Hopefully I get to it in July. Next is The Girl with the Louding Voice by Abby Dare. Dare, I don't know how to pronounce her last name. This one I think is also a romance. It might be a literary fiction. I can't remember too too much about it. I'm excited for this one. I have heard amazing things about it. The next two books on my TBR I don't own yet. One isn't out yet and the other one I just haven't purchased yet. The first one is The It Girl by Ruth Ware. That comes out on July 12th. I've already pre-ordered it so I'm really excited to read that one. I love Ruth Ware. The next one is Book Lovers by Emily Henry. I don't have this one yet but I will be purchasing it hopefully in July when I'm in the mood to read it. Next is Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir. Like I mentioned in my haul video and my June TBR, I really wanted to read this one in June, but June was just very, very busy for me. It was very overwhelming. I felt like I couldn't breathe at times. So reading 
making wishes off the table. So I'm pushing this to my July TBR. I do really, really want to get to this. And with how sciencey it is, I was able to get the audiobook. So hopefully that will help me get through it. The next book I plan on reading is We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. This is a YA thriller. And I have not read a lot of YA thrillers. And any YA thrillers that I have read, I actually really enjoy. So I have high hopes for this one. I know the reviews are very mixed. Some people loved it, some people hated it. I just want to see where I'll fall. Hopefully I'll love it. And the last book on my July TBR is Honey Girl by Morgan Rogers. As mentioned in my haul video, I don't know too much about this one other than the fact that she's a recent grad, PhD grad, and she goes to Vegas to celebrate graduating with a PhD in astronomy and wakes up next to a woman or wakes up married to a woman. Anyways, I'm really excited for it. It has fantastic reviews that I've seen so can't wait to dive into this one. And those are all the books that I plan on reading in the month of July. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below what you plan on reading in July and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!